Hi everybody, and welcome to section three of this video course. In this section, we'll be building an app that allows you to take a picture, and then we'll be using the powerful Google Vision API to classify the picture, and then we'll save the category into Firestore for future references. Let's move on to the first video of this section, using Ionic Native Camera to take photos for our app. As with any Ionic project, we'll start with the Ionic CLI and then we'll start the project. As you know, we'll be using the Ionic Native Camera plugin. So this is the documentation that you can find on the Ionic website. And all you need to do is install Ionic Cordova plugin, add Cordova plugin camera, and then install the library that Ionic provides. So just as the documentation say, we'll just install the plugin here in our project folder. And then we npm install Ionic Native. So just like any Ionic project, we already have started with like homepage and all that. So I've went ahead and created some HTML for the homepage. I have removed the toolbar for now, so there won't be any title, but eventually we want to have a save and a share button there. Here I have the image that will show the current image. And in the footer, I have a fab button that will just launch the camera and it's going to have a click of take picture method. And then the image takes in the current image. Here in the home page, we have take image, current image, and then we have the take picture. So here, what we want to do is we want to import camera from Ionic Native and use it inside this component. And remember that after you import from Ionic Native, it needs to have slash nginx to get the Angular version of it. And here we'll inject the camera library into our component by going into constructor and declare it as camera. How camera works is really simple. It has a promise state and it's waiting for the promise to be fulfilled. And then you will have the base64 encoded image for you to use. Since it's a promise based library, we can use the async await syntax to do async calls. This one requires a camera option, so we will declare the option up here. I've pasted some default camera options here. We have the quality at 100, and then certain destination types and encoding types that comes with the camera library. And here, once we have the image coming back from the camera, it's going to be in base64 encoding, but it is not a data URI. So when we assign it to current image, where the image tag will receive it, we have to add the data URI format to it. See that we have the data and it declares that this image is going to be a JPEG and the image data is in base64. This way, the image will be able to be read by the image tag and displayed on the screen. You can read more about the camera documentation here in the Ionic documentation. You can see that it's exactly how we have declared it. There is the camera options, and here they're using the regular then after the promise, but we are just using await and async. The other thing that we need to do to get the camera into the component is that we need to include the camera in the providers so that it becomes like a service, injectable service that we can inject into the component. If everything is all right, when we launch the emulator, we should see something that looks like this. I added a home text on the toolbar just so that we can see where the toolbar is. There should be a fab button at the bottom that launches the camera. And when we take a picture, the picture will end up in our screen. And then we can see here that the picture is being taken 
convert it to base64, and then insert it to the image tag in our page.